got a little oh yeah you got this the same thing yes so we in houston we in houston finally it was a long 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 day but we finally made it um me and nani got a joining room so it's pretty dope we're staying at the royal the royal sonosta right this is our room so yeah we about to turn up hey. um I got a little seating area here, my bed, and Nani got the same exact thing. Let me just go on her side so we could just go into each other's rooms whenever we feel like it. And then we could close the door on each other at night. <laughs> and that's <last> that. <night. laughs> yeah. So we got the whole little suite function going on up in here. This is my Mother's Day gift, birthday gift. This is Christmas, all that for 2022. So we about to turn up. So yeah, we just got out here. Uh, we got the rental car. And now we're probably just going to run out and get a few things and then decide what we're going to do. Because it's like, I think it's like about 7 o'clock or so. So I'll keep y'all updated on everything that's going on for the weekend. We just got here. It's Thursday, May 19th. So I think it's going to be an awesome ride. So... just came back from camp club that shit was lit and it's a Thursday night oh my goodness um I think I want to move to Houston well that's what I think I still want to check out Dallas it's only day one and I want to move here that's crazy um, I don't know. Let me tell y'all something. The chicken wings at camp unmatched. Unmatched. Let me just tell y'all that. What are the chicken wings? And they put the sauce on the side so you don't, it's not smothering the sauce, which is always a good thing for me. All the niggas, all the men are in Houston. It's crazy. The security guards and police officers and workers and it's crazy out here. 
it is bananas out here i think i really want to live here i want to live here um we're staying in a galleria area which i heard is like the buckhead of houston um crazy um i'm done with new york i think i'm gonna wait a couple of years so y'all get a little older are we out um i also wanted to check dallas out to see what it was like out there and i i am i'm gonna take like a week and come out to dallas and stay in like an airbnb and we'll see how it would be with me my mom and y'all new york is just getting so it's overrated it's definitely overrated i'm done with it but i don't want to leave unless um John's a little older but he's in school right now he's in daycare he's too young I think I'm gonna wait until he's like five and I'm out in New York I'm done with it I was talking to my little sister all the boys is out here mm -mm. I'm out of there um but tomorrow's another day I don't know what we're doing yet we don't have anything planned. I don't know what we're doing yet. But at the end of the day, we will be going to a club. Because the club's in Houston in around two. So, we'll be going to a club. And, um, taking it from there. But I'll check back in with y'all. Oh, and Doc came, of course, while I'm out on vacation. She's such a hater. So, yeah. Uh um. I'll check back with y'all tomorrow. See you May 20th. RIP to my brother Michael. Today is his birthday. Michael, I love you so much. It's been. This year makes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's make 14 years, I believe. We've been gone. Wait, what is it more than that? No. I can't remember. But, because I was drinking, so I'm not even going to try to pretend. But, it's been a while since my brother's been gone. And, it's just, it never gets easy. Yeah, I wish he could see his nephew. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll check back in with y'all tomorrow. I'm tired. All right, guys. So, today is Friday, May 20th. Um, I think, did I vlog yesterday? Oh, yeah, I did last night. <laughs> yeah, last night was a movie. Um, I'm scooping down because the camera height or whatever. Anyway, um, last night was dope. I think I vlogged a little. I didn't vlog. Well, I vlogged a little bit on my camera. So I mean, on my phone. So I'll just go ahead and insert that. Um, last night was a super. It was a movie. Um, <laughs> so tonight we'll be trying to revisit a vibe like we had last night, but just somewhere else. Hopefully, we get lucky. Um, yeah, last night was a vibe. So. Where it's like like two o'clock in the afternoon, I think now. We just kind of like been lounging all day because um, you know it's just the type of day. Like we kind of like wing it. It's nothing planned. Um, we're probably just gonna go get something to eat real quick and then maybe peek in like me and Marcus just to see how it is. I'm definitely not doing no shopping because I don't have money for that. And um, that's pretty much it. So right now, I'm just beating my face a little bit. I'm already dressed. I'm just waiting for Nani to get ready. We're going to go get something to eat. Go to Neiman Mar. No, I just said that. But, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just putting on a little bit of um, my foundation. And that's going to be that. Because when I get back from eating and stuff, and we go out tonight, um, I got to do this all over again. So it makes absolutely no sense. Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, um, I just put on, let's see. I don't know if you can see my outfit. Hold on one second. I don't know what to do with that top. 
you but i know it's on here somewhere if y'all see how this sink looks so basically i just got on this like little shein dress um this is old i just i like dress them all dresses like this and just put on my little fake diamond tennis bracelet necklace and my little studs and i put on a little bit of my born this way 24 hour um thing and that's pretty much all i'm doing for now because later on i'm gonna probably do a complete beat when we go out so that's pretty much the gist of it i'm probably throwing throw on my uh wedges from gucci and i'll try to let me just go to the full length mirror so i can show y'all exactly what the live is i don't think nani is ready yet but yeah this is simple i just want something simple um probably just gonna spray my face with this I think it's like Charlotte Tilbury airbrush fullest setting spray I don't know I, I watched Dollface Larry put this on I think I think that's who put me on to this yeah I think it was Dollface Larry check her out she's cool she's from Chicago So today is May 21st. I am on my way. We on our way to the pool. Our pool is closed, so we have to go to the pool at the Hilton. So I'm gonna tra take y'all on. I um I just realized I don't have that much thing on my get out of here. I gotta give y'all a room tour. Yeah, my room. Dirty, but uh, yeah, this is the whole. Elevators come so quick. Let's see what they say about this. Next up. Hi. Um, we want to go to the pool. Do we need anything if we go to the Hilton? Yeah. Do you know where it is? Yeah. Can we walk there? Which way? How do you get there? No, no, so you're gonna so go straight over here. Straight. You see the stop sign? Right. The stop sign, you're gonna make a left, and then your first right, and then your first left. Okay. So stop sign, left, uh, left, then first right, first left. Okay, gotcha. Right. All right, thank you. Oh, huh? Oh. You said something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, because I was on the phone. Oh, no. That's what I was thinking. So I was like, they got us in the alleyways. Couple like friends together, you know. Oh, and they ain't holler. 
they was looking, you know, yeah. niggas just did it. That's what we were saying yesterday. They just, just looking. looking and like looking stupid, not, <laughs> not hollering, fucking staring, and not saying nothing. Yeah, these guys are different nowadays. They don't holler at you or nothing. What the fuck? <laughs> Give them some type of, you know, inkling that you like them first, I guess. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, it was definitely me. Because that's why we ain't going out. Like, yeah, we said let's get some rest so we could, you know, be charged up for today. And look at this shit. Say, <laughs> pull. Oh, it's quiet. Real quiet. Maybe because it's about to rain or it's early. You said what? I said it's real quiet. I said maybe because it's about to rain. Yeah, well, whatever. Yeah. Why well, they got that thing in there? Is it 30? I always be asking, I'll be like, what you mean? I'll be asking back, I'll be asking guys video about shit all the time. What the hell be going on? Yeah. <laughs> they be telling me. Yeah, it's good to have them for that reason because they keep you. And then they like a, like a dude. I'll tell you real close. I'll be asking him. I'll be like, oh, if a guy X Y Z do this to me, what is it? And they be like, da 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 da. Just like you they know they exactly say. what the hell <laughs> going on. It's be like, oh, but yeah, niggas stop calling me. What does that mean? Huh? Some of them be like, yeah, got me. <laughs> Why are you making me laugh? What else he said? No, no, no response, no response. Dead like lights so the hours later. You working? No response again. Come on, nigga. Fuck out here. When I say something, like, you gotta come by, you gotta come back. Didn't he say good morning show. again today? Yesterday. That was Wednesday. This is yesterday. Good morning, uh, Are you getting my messages? <laughs> good morning. I, I said good morning. I'm in Houston right now. Oh, I was wondering why you didn't answer me. I'm just, I'm just starting work. Can I call you later? No. <laughs> no response. Hey, this one. Hey. <laughs> Yep, we got everything. Yep. Oh shit. You'll find a lot of bulls up here around this motherfucker. Nothing but Jordans in Houston. So Kyle Sundays, we got two sections up. Here with the waitress. So far and I are gonna be crazy. to 
out. We don't know where it's out yet, but we'll figure it out. So basically, let me see if you can see my outfit. I'm wearing this top that I got from Nasty Girl, and then I'm wearing like this skirt that I got from Shein. And I just put my hair in like this little bun thing, and that's the gist of it. So yeah, we're about to go out, eat, and then hang out uh, last night in Houston. All right, stay tuned. actually editing a vlog now that you're watching now i just realized i did not close out the houston vlog at all um houston was a complete entire vibe i had so much fun it was just like a good mixture between having fun and real relaxation um it was just it was just i needed some rest on that trip as well so we did a little partying but we also got a lot of rest too um, the hardest part for me was just the traveling. Like, it's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's now because it's COVID or whatever, but it just seemed like each day that we traveled, it's like it took a whole day to get there. Like, going, my flight was delayed on, ugh, delayed on JetBlue. And I don't know what's going on with JetBlue and JFK, but they're not communicating. They're not letting you know that your flight is delayed until, like, it's supposed to take off. It's just... It was just such, not a horrible experience, but I mean, when you think about JetBlue, et cetera, et cetera, you think of good customer service and it just did not display that at all on top of me having to pay extra for a carry-on for JetBlue. Like, that's fucking crazy. Um, That's going to really... That's going to really, really uh, be a decision factor in a way of whether or not I'm going to um, fly with them again. Um, other than that, I mean, of course, the flights are always good. The TVs work. Um, you know, the seats to me are still, like, you know, uncomfortable. You know, like, not still uncomfortable. They just un plain. I mean, if, it, if you're not in first class, you're just freaking uncomfortable, if you ask me. Um... And going and coming, like, my flight was delayed. And they didn't even text you say, like, your flight was going to be delayed. Like, they didn't say anything. But that really, like, when I seen that extra charge for a carry-on, I was like, what? Like, damn, y'all charging people. Because I guess they realized that a lot of people is deciding, like, not to check in luggage anymore for different. But a lot of people are doing that for different reasons. It's because people, they lose your luggage, they damage your luggage, and yeah, if I don't have to pay an extra $40 going and coming for a check bag, then no, I'm going to squeeze everything in my carry-on. But anyway, that shit was really, really, really disappointing, and I'm really disappointed in JetBlue, and I know I'm ranting and raving about JetBlue, but that shit really irritated me. Um, but yeah, the traveling was just a lot for me then. It's like I, my flight was delayed coming home, and then when I got to JFK, I couldn't find an Uber. Then when I found the Uber, I had to pay like triple the amount that I 
should pay. Like I literally live 20 minutes away from the airport and I paid $70 for Uber. That's freaking ridiculous. Um, and JFK is the closest airport to my house. So it's really no reason why I should have paid that amount of money, but I had to get home. I didn't make any previous arrangements for someone to come and pick me up. But moving forward, I will, um, if I can. Sometimes, you know, you just can't help it. Um, you know, that shit really, 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 really irritated me. Like, that shit. And then, I didn't even say this part. We Our flight was delayed for an hour. <laughs> this, is how it ha this is how my traveling experience was when I got home. Our flight was delayed an hour. Then, oh, no, no, no. Was it even delayed? Yeah, it was delayed like an hour. Then... When we landed, we was on a tarmac for like 45 minutes. The gate wasn't ready for 45 fucking minutes. Then when I get out, I can't get an Uber for, I think I still had to wait like 15, 20 minutes for an Uber and pay triple the price. You know, I was pissed. I was so glad I didn't tell um, my child's father that I would pick him up that night because not only did I not get in the time that I thought I was going to get in, like I couldn't even get home. And then if I, all that aggravation, I would have just been super duper frustrated because it takes me like 40 minutes to go pick my son up. So anyway, that was crazy. But the trip overall was good. Um, and it's, it was a good experience, not only for leisure, but also because that's potentially where I want to live. Um, the food was good. Everywhere I went, the food was good. Um, even in a hotel, the food was good. Um, what else was it? Um... I think that's pretty much it like overall it was a really good trip i do want to go back again and my biggest issue right now is child care because <laughs> other than that i will be out but um it would be nice to go to dallas first and then make my decision on where i'm moving to because it is definitely something that i am really serious about doing i'm i'm tired of new york i'm really tired of it um but anyway um just wanted to um close out the vlog because i did not close out the vlog it was definitely a turn up i tried to vlog as much as i could i could have probably vlogged a little bit more but i was trying to enjoy my trip some and i'm still trying to get used to picking up the camera um i tried to film on my phone as much as i could um and try to give y'all as much footage as i could but i hope you enjoyed um my first travel vlog on my channel should have been doing this years ago because the places that i've been and the things that i've seen is just crazy but i will check in with y'all check back with y'all on the next vlog don't know where that will be but hopefully soon again check out my links down below i'm gonna try to link my hair page not my edges get your bundles get your eyelashes get your frontals get your lace fronts, all that on notmyedges.com. And I'll also leave a little tag down below to check it out. Over and out. It's been real.